we are. Who's ready to play as a baby? Because that's what this is. Oh, uh, Mug the Sleep. Good old classic, huh? This game came out, like, way back in, like, 2013, 2014, 15, somewhere in that era. And I think most people diving in should at least have an idea of this game. Haven't heard of this game in a while? Exactly. Me neither until about six months ago. I think it was, like, six, seven months ago where I saw Fusion play it. And I'm like, whoa, what a throwback. I didn't watch the video because it was always in the back of my mind of, like, Hey, maybe I want to sit down and actually play the game. Because way back when it first came out, I think it was 2014 when it came out. Am I quiet? Oh, shoot. Am I quiet? Let me fix it. How's that? Is that better? Is that better? <laughs> Sorry. My bad. I apologize. I'm, I'm definitely a good streamer. <laughs> well, I remember when I played this, I, I never, I, let me clarify, I watched gameplay footage way back when the game first came out in like 2014, and like most people, I watched like Markiplier play through it, right? And the big thing about this game was the ending. Sony Wonder with the dollar, thank you so much. The ending is what people really remember from this game. And I think I remember most of what the ending is. Because, again, the ending is what made this game... It's, it's why people continue to play this game today. Uh, or, like, just play through the story. But I don't, rem I, I don't remember, like, much of what's actually within the game. I know I'm a two-year-old child. I know things get super weird. And that's all I really remember. But also, this game has, like, a DLC, which I had no idea that there was a DLC. Uh, I like I bought the enhanced edition which also includes the prologue which I think is the DLC and then it also has a museum kind of like just extras thing so yeah the baby game the baby game exactly and I have my yeah have my controller hooked up so we're gonna dive on in controller wise nothing could possibly go wrong Yeah, for those of you who have never heard of anything about this game, you're in for a treat. It's pretty nice. I don't know what this is, though. I don't know what the hell... Hey, sweetie. Did you finish your drink already? Oh, okay. That's a glass. Oh, uh, gosh. It might break. That's fair. Now I am too, though. Be a minute. Mommy just has to make sure that the cake is perfect. That's right. It's my birthday, I think. Hmm. Might as well play with the abacus. Play with, uh-oh. I don't want to skip the intro. No, no, no. There and there. Perfect. Hey. Oh, look at you. You're so adorable in your tiny-footed pajamas. Love my pajamas. Your face. Did not age Happy well. birthday, sweetie. Thanks. Wow, two years today. <laughs> Oops. I think I know a little someone who's ready for some cake. Here comes the airplane. Chugga, 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 chugga. Or the train. Choo. Woo! Delicious! Thank you, Mommy. Here it comes. Oh. Through the tunnel. Choo-choo. <laughs> Woo! Oh, God. Who's interrupting my special time with mommy? I'll be mm, right back. Go away! Give me this cake. Oh, does the weird stuff already start to happen? Oh, yeah. <laughs> who, who interrupted my train? We good? Hey, you. Yeah! 
Look what I found. Oh, it's a I present. What it is. Oh, I don't know. Why don't we go upstairs and find out. All right. Could just do it here, but whatever. I can't move. You're going to have to pick me up. There we go. Oh my. <laughs> How much cake did you have? Like none. I didn't even eat any. Hey. <laughs> Hold on. Bring me back, woman. I wish to have my pink cake. Hey. You you baked the whole cake. You didn't get Oh god. No. I want cake. Ridiculous. Mommy, there are letters appearing in our living room. There's a shadow. Mommy, look behind you. Mommy? Mommy, I think I have schizophrenia. Seriously, look behind you. We have been deprived of cake. Quite frankly, <laughs> zero out of 10 game. Among the sleep. I actually don't know what the title's referencing, but maybe we'll we'll make uh, we'll make some uh, shots at the title later. Maybe we'll figure it out. Here we are. Perfect. <laughs> now let's see what's inside. It's a pretty nice house, maybe actually. It's a new toy. That's the plan. <laughs> I hope it's cake. Uh... Hi. Okay, sweetie. Be a deer and play for a bit. Mommy will be right back. Okay. What the hell was that? Andrew with the the 32 months. Thank you so much. Huh? Oh, hey, give me the toy. Hey, what what is what is with you, mom, giving me things and then depriving me of them? I want that present, or maybe I don't. Hold on, RB to pick up objects. Okay, hold on. Give me that. Can I have that? Oh my god, I even walk like a two-year-old. Wait, how do I... Oh, there we go. I got it. I think. Is this how I get out? Okay, how do I crouch? Okay, gaming's hard. There we go. Crawl. There we go. Crawling is faster than walking. See, that does make sense. Hey! Excuse me? Okay. Oh, nice. I like all the baby noises. Oh, did it leave? Okay. Nice. There we go. Get out of here, toy elephant. I don't need you anymore. Yeah, it's gone. Okay. Where'd you go hide or where'd you go hiding, Mr. Mystery Plushie? Yeah. Hi, Teddy Bear. We playing hide and seek? Yeah, look hey, at you found me. Yeah, right. Oh, I really don't remember you at all, actually. Oh, oh god. Teddy. Nice to meet you. Thanks. Hey, what's your name? Oh. I, I, I'm not, not sure. Not talker yet, eh? I'm two. Let's play a game. I know. I'll hide the pink elephant while you're not looking. Oh, okay. That's fine. Come here. Turn around and cover your eyes. Oh, there we go. Oh! Okay. There. You can look now. Oh, so that's pausing? Is just, like, hiding? Oh, that's actually kind of clever. Okay, so, obviously, you came from over there, so the pink warmer. elephant... There you go. I'm just gonna crawl over. So that's faster. Warmer. Yo, Tyler, well, thanks for the five dollars, man. Super warm. Am I a genius, or are you just bad at hiding objects? <laughs> you found it. My cognitive ability is staggering. Okay, what what's next? Wow. Is that a music box? Does it work? Mm. -hmm. What music box? Oh, that? The old fail family heirloom? Oh god, how do I do this?
this. Just have to make stairs. There we go. Oh, thank you, Fox. Appreciate that. Yes, here we go. That's a nice melody. Yeah, it's fantastic before the things all go horrible and wrong. I must remind you, this is a horror game. What? A oh, God. Oh, my bad. <laughs> I didn't mean to go that close. Okay, what? What now, Teddy? You're an old teddy bear. You're not even new. Look at that patch. God, you walk like a two-year-old, too. You walk like me. What's this? It's a book. With Five ancient demonic writing. Upon a dry, dry hill. Okay. We could use a drink, they sang and started to drill. Unless we reach water with our newly dug well, I think we'll have to bid each other fare thee well. I suppose he's cute. He's pretty creepy, though. Look at him. Look at those eyes. Look at those beady eyes. Oh. Does it run? How do you start it? Sir, you're the one speaking in full sentences. I think you're the one to figure this out, but since I'm a freaking genius, bam. And round and round and round. Chugga chugga choo choo, huh? Hey, pick me up and carry me on your back. I want to show you something. Excuse me, you can walk, sir. It's also bringing me back to the time that my mama didn't give me cake. We need someplace very dark. Oh, I love him. Someplace very dark. All right, that's terrifying. How about your closet? Okay. Teddy, I don't know if I trust you anymore. There we go. This, this is, this closet is terrifying. Oh my God. There's also nothing in here and there's toys scattered all about. So it I'm just- to be darker. Shut the doors completely. I'm just pointing that out. There we go. All right, Teddy. What kind of horrible things are you- Teddy, where, where are you? It has to be darker. Shut the doors completely. Okay, first of all, the, oh, I see. Good. This will do nicely. Okay. Teddy. I hope there are no monsters in here. Yeah, d bring that up now. Oh God, hey. If you ever feel scared in a dark place like this, you can hug me tightly. You might feel a little bit safer. I don't think we're supposed to be here. We must be oh. careful. I don't like this. You brought me in here! I'm glad that you're just a built-in flashlight. Jesus. All right. This this closet just kind of opened up, didn't it? Did you hear that? No, just your annoying talking. Oh. I think something's coming. Ah! God, mother! What are you doing in the closet? Teddy oh, told me to do it. Are you playing with your new friend? Yeah, it's creeping me out. Hello, Mr. Bear. Nice to meet you. How are you today? <laughs> You've got to stop hiding from Mommy. I don't know. If she would give me cake every once in a I while, I'd be more inclined to just visit you a little bit more. <sighs> Mommy would be very sad if you didn't. Okay. And now it's time for bed. It's like 3 p.m. If you go to sleep now, you can wake up early tomorrow and play with your friend that, all day. Stop it. Every little boy and girl are sleeping now all over the world. And they're waiting just for you. We shouldn't keep them. No, they're not, you liar. Again, it's like 3 p.m. Good night, hon. All right. Sweet dreams. Listen, not like I have a choice in the matter. That that is. Babies just conk out, don't they? So we're we're good, I guess.
Your humming sucks. <laughs> Mother, it's clearly daytime. Yes. Time zones, woman, time zones. Ah, yes, teenagers going to bed at 3 p.m. That's definitely real. I mean, naps are a thing. What is this? Hey, who's taking my teddy? Teddy? Oh. But I want my creepy friend back. Apparently. Oh, you know, take my whole crib. Oh, now I'm awake? Lo oh, Jesus. Okay. Why I would find that problematic. Teddy, where have you gone? Peek around corners. Okay. Like this. Wait. How do I actually peek? I have no idea. Whatever I'm doing is not working. Not like there's anything here anyways. It's problematic. But I'm two years old. I can figure this out. Probably just move the stool, right? That's one hell of an elaborate wake-up alarm. Yeah. There we go. I, I got some good cognitive skills. I, my fluid reasoning is off the charts here. Teddy? Have you been kidnapped? Oh. Teddy! <laughs> oh, are you in here? Teddy! Not like this! How do I save you? Wait, I, I actually have no idea. Oh, unplug it, right? Yeah, it's dangerous. There we go. Thank you. <laughs> Something's not right. We need to oh, find geez. your mother. My mother. All right. Can I hug you tight yet? Are you following me? Am I carrying you? Okay, I, I guess I'm carrying him. I'm just gonna assume he's with me, all dripping wet. Look, look at me walk. Okay. Sure. Downstairs we go. Shh. We have to be very quiet. We can't let it find us. Generally, that's the plan. Huh? Is that it? Is that it? Oh no, that's a fire extinguisher. Never mind. I thought that was it. I don't. Re I don't really remember it <laughs> at all. I look in the darkness. It looked like a, a gremlin. Okay, it did not look like a fire extinguisher. I'm sorry. Hey. Shadow monster? Shadow. Shadow monster? What are we watching? Oh, it's all my stuff. The Adventures of Milkman? That just looks like golfing. That's just stupid. Come on, that's a Lion King. Can I grab these? That doesn't really matter, does it? All right, Mama. Okay. Mother, are you okay? You've dropped the bananas. Stop it. Oh, nice, a drawing. I know there's like achievements that I could get for like collecting all the drawings. And I, you know, I realized before this, you can play this on PlayStation, which makes me upset that I didn't realize to just play it on PlayStation, just get trophies out of this. But oh well, maybe I'll do that. Later on, what are we? What are we trying to do here? Mom's out here ruining all my stuff. Won't give me cake. Gives me a demon teddy, and now is, is stealing all my milk. 
Not really sure what to do here. I think I gotta do some climbing. If I can. Unless I wanna move this over. There we go. This is probably what I gotta do. Yeah. Man, I'm smart! Know how to come out here, use some chairs. Hell yeah. Give me that. Give me that? Oh. Maybe not. Project readjusted three win. You played one and uh, one and two years ago. I'm still waiting for you to play three. Isn't three like ridiculously challenging? Oh no, that's like post shift two. I don't know, maybe. It's a big house. Easy. Relax. Thank you for the five bucks. Appreciate it, Stormy. Mother? Mother? Mama? No? Mom? Oh no, that's just boots. Okay. I, th I thought you had like a Wicked Wiss of the East situation going on. Right, I'd play with the five bucks. Uh, out of curiosity, have I played this game before? I've never played it, but I've watched gameplay of it back when it first came out, like in 2014. So, I remember the ending, but I don't remember the actual game. Or like the gameplay. And quite frankly, where is my mother? You back here? I feel like that's not a direction to go. No, I think this is right. I think I gotta go over here. What kind of house is this? The halls feel like a maze? Maybe that's just in my imagination because I'm a child and like just everything is just enormous for me. But it legitimately is kind of a big house. Okay, I need to figure out how to do this. So let's climb up if we can. There we go. That's using my big brain. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, let's see here. How do we want to play this? Can I just move this all the way out? Oh, heck yeah, that'll work. I watched Markiplier play this back in the day. Yeah, that's how I watched it. There we go. All right, what room do we have here? Oh, God, Mom, oh. Mommy! There's big scaries out there. Come here. Come on, Mother. Reveal yourself. Reveal yourself. Don't make me jump on your head. Oh my God, please. No, no good? Why are you giving me the option to grab this? Huh. Maybe I gotta leave you alone. Or come from this side. Anything under here? What is that? Oh. Good raccoon. Everyone's like, that's not mom. I'm, I'm, I, I'm very certain that's not mother. Mother. Mommy. Why will it, why, it won't let me grab and pull this off. Is there something else I gotta do? <sighs> I just, I'm just standing on her. All right. Hope it isn't bugged. I mean, I just downloaded it. I don't think that it's a bug. I feel like there's something else I gotta do. I'd be surprised if the answer is hide in closets. Right? Maybe it is. 
That's what I have to do. Do I hide in the closet? Hold up. I'm gonna try that. You just need to pull the cover. Look, I'm gonna try again in a second. But... That didn't seem to do anything. Yeah, I know I, I need to pull the cover, but it won't... For some reason, it won't let me. Did I break the game? I literally just downloaded this. This is ridiculous. Are you kidding me? Do you see this right now? Grab. See me grabbing? I'm pulling. Oh! Oh, I get it. Mommy! That's problematic. Nope. I was gonna hide, but I guess you're gone. Oh. Mummy? Your humming is very pretty. Why am I back here? Okay, that's terrifying. I didn't break the game, I was just doing it wrong. That was a big old no thank you. I'm assuming I'm just gonna go forward. Okay. This is intriguing. I, I am not a fan of these coats or dresses. Mother has no taste. That's what I'm talking about. Let's just get all supernatural with it. It's her. Hey. Hello? Look at Mommy's necklace. Can you see our reflection? It's you and me. <laughs> it used to belong to your grandma. I guess she can't hear us. And she seems so distant. Maybe it's more like a memory of her? Maybe my core memories. Can I have it? Nice. Big plays. Oh. View my memories? Why? Does that matter? Oh. Okay. Is that helpful? Okay. This is not safe! Oh, God. Are you all right? Nice. Yeah, this makes me feel comfortable. Whoa. What is this place? See, this is where I'm, I remember the least of this game, because I knew things get trippy, but I, I remember nothing. What's that doing here? I I don't know. I, I feel like I'm more concerned about, like, the bottomless trench that I found myself hovering over. Plush man, thank you so much for the member. Is it locked? I might be able to open it from the inside. Well, get in there. Me up. Make yourself useful. However, I do this. How do how do I how do I? You're still on me, right? Oh, hey, there you go. There we go. Alley oop. You distinctly remember the ending? Yeah, like Whoa. the ending is what people remember place. from this game. Because for its time, it was pretty cool. I don't think it would hold up as well today if this came out, but it was definitely very good for its time. And to an extent, it still holds up just from nostalgia. Listen. There it is again. It sounds like it's coming from behind this door. There what, the creepy moaning? Open it. It seems like these are connected somehow. Okay. It'd be a shame if I just closed the door on you. Some sort of key. Are you not the key? Is there anything we can use? Oh. I guess so. Like this? How do I use it? Oh. 
Listen, I am in I am enormously intelligent for a two-year-old. Should be good. I'm out here solving no puzzles like nobody's business. Okay, oh my god, how am I? Oh, I see. Nope, 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 nope. Oh, there we go. Got it. Plus man with the two dollars. Thank you so much. <gasps> Look. Oh. I see. What happened? Why didn't it open? Open your eyes, Teddy. I gotta get three more core memories. And then, then I can open the door with my little baby hands. Same time. Oh, okay. That's it. Oh, never mind. It seems like the memory you share unlocked the door. Oh, apparently I was wrong. Okay, never mind, Teddy. If we can find more memories like this, it might bring us to her. It looks like we need three more. Sure. It's easy enough. Take this real quick. Can I? Can I please have it? Oh, maybe not. All right, whatever. Did they update? Yes, yeah, so this is the enhanced version. Maybe that's why this doesn't... Fe this, fe this, I mean, this does feel different. I don't remember much of the game, but I just figured that this was just because I didn't remember much from the game. Can you, okay, fun. Do I have to pick you up? There you go. I'll give you a little pat on the back. I mean, this is an update from like 2017, but I don't know other than a graphical update what's been changed. I know the story is going to be pretty much the same. Nice. Where are we? I don't know. Not sure what this is symbolizing either. That's a dark, horrible forest. Love this for me. Don't ask me. I'm a baby. And I also don't talk yet. However, at, th at this age, I should be, like, saying some words, so... You know, I, I do have that going on for me. That looks promising. Can I have that? Nice. Mother? Yeah, and I'm, I'm just a little baby, Mom. I'll save you. I'm gonna crawl it's a little faster. Whoa. Over there. It looks like another memory across that bridge. I, I guess so. I mean, like, take this out of context. Like, remove the bicycle over there and just, like, look at this castle. It's like a castle from Elden Ring, just w looking at it from far away. That's terrifying. And I- and I am sick of these death slides. This- I- okay, I remember this location a little bit, but it looks so different. This tower? Yeah, if I collect enough magical owls, I'll get up there, I guess. There we- yeah, this... It's not creepy. Okay. Is this how I'm picturing my playground? Like, am I actually in the playground, or am I just dreaming? These little pieces, I, I don't actually know. I'm gonna crawl. Go, there's, there's gotta be an owl in here, right? Yeah, come on. It's, that's too easy. You, you, you wanna relax for me? Teddy! Teddy? Can I hold Teddy? Teddy! Shh. We should be careful. Okay. 
Okay, so this is more of what I remember. A lot darker, a lot spookier. Mm -hmm. ah! That's a soccer ball. It's fine. He's fine. Eat the salmon. I don't have salmon. So I don't I don't know I don't know what you expect me to do here. I, I get that's the whole, you know, oh you're a cannibal cuz you're salmon eating whatever. But I don't I don't really have anything to say to you cuz I I don't have salmon. So I'm not I'm not sure how to help you there. I feel like this would kill a two-year-old. No. Yeah, like, like, bam. Uh, oh, that, God. Clearly. Oh, now you allow me to hug Teddy. Hug Teddy. Oh, I've been pressing the wrong button. It's fine. I got it. I got it covered. This place creeps me out. I hope your mother is okay. She's fine. She's a big, strong woman. Oh, God. Yeah, let's, let's get the owl on the plank. Hovering above a bottomless pit with a two-year-old that probably already has had his legs broken. Thank you. Uh, no, I do not drop down. Not sure where I should go. I mean, I mean, really, this game is a big old walking simulator, so as long as I keep walking in a relatively new direction, I'm good to go. I hope this is right. It didn't seem like I could do anything over there. Give me that. Have I, ever, have I ever had salmon? Dude, absolutely. Salmon's delicious. Especially like uh, salmon sushi. That's like my favorite. Just good old plain salmon sushi. I love spicy tuna as well. It's great. As far as I can tell, it's a walking puzzle. Kind, I mean, in a way, yeah. A lot of games 10 years ago were walking simulators, but they were good walking simulators that told a story. Um, I mean, even all the way up to, oh, Jesus. Okay. Mother, what, what have you done with my toys? Yeah, let's just, there we go. That's a little better. Like, you got a lot of walking simulators even all the way up through 2020. Oh my God, what was the name of that game? It was a, it was a walking simulator type game that basically just told a story of how each of these family members died but it was such an incredible game. I need to play it on stream sometime. Oh my God, what was it called? Something Rose. Oh, uh, it was like a 2017 game, 2018 game. Edith Finch, thank you. Edith, Edith Finch. Edith Finch, it was such, such a good game. And I'm, I'm a little upset I didn't play it because I just played it on my own because I've heard it I heard it was a good game and I just played it do I have to go up here no I feel like that was the play though it, it is an incredibly good game it does get dark but it gets dark with meaning if that makes sense tragically beautiful that's a good way to put it lady absolutely where do the owls go I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know where I'm going. Oh, maybe I gotta go over here. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, no, I gotta put the owls over here. Because I remember there being spaces. Right? Because I got... I got four of these mamajamas. Right? Yeah. Oh, at six? Oh. Okay, I thought... I didn't know there was more. Alright, my bad. Go ahead and just go ahead and put these there. Okay. Two more owls. They gotta be somewhere. They're hiding somewhere. 2015? Was Eden was Edith Finch 2015? Apit Ryan replayed this? Yeah, I saw that he made a video kind of around the same time that uh, Fusion made a video. Which is totally fine. I mean, like, that's how I rediscovered the game in the first place, is seeing that uh, Fusion played it like six months ago. 
made me want to actually like sit down and play it. Give me that. Can I have it? Stupid rock in the way. Okay, how do I get this moved? I feel like there's a weird puzzle going on here. Oh. Wow, not only am I a strong two-year-old, but I am a tall two-year-old. So if I get this going, there we go. No? Come on. Come here. Up, up, up. Up, up, up. Ugh. I think I have to get that, I have to get this off to push it off. Do I have to climb the tree? Oh, there we go. Maybe not. I feel like it, it, it just can't be that. Well, it's, it, it's, it, I don't have a good angle here, which makes me think I have to climb the tree. Does bro not look down? What? What? Actually, no, that's fair. It just, logically this shouldn't, all right, whatever. Shut up. I don't expect myself to be this tall. I, I am viewing myself as a very small child. Was that there before? Okay, these owls are appearing out of nowhere. I hate these core memories. All right, let's see here. One more to go. Excuse me? Why are you creepy? Nah, this is fine. It's fine. You're standing at one years old? Excuse me! It's my birthday, I'm two. So, yes, I, I am standing as a freshly new two year I should probably not fall into the depths, right? Can I fall? Dude, can I fall? Yeah, okay, I, I just wanted to see, I just wanted to check. Let's continue story, it's fine. Everything's fine. Nobody saw that. Nothing happened. Okie dokie. And I still have my owl. Let's see, one more somewhere. Dang, two year olds are defensive about our age. Yeah, especially when we're cranky when we don't get our um, birthday cake. Oh, that does not look good. I probably shouldn't go over there. Um. It's gotta be somewhere obvious. Right? I can't climb up the slide. Maybe it's at the top of the slide and I have to just do this. This looks, yeah, this looks promising. Oh, maybe it's not. What? Will you not let me climb? What? Why? Okay, I guess that's the wrong way to go. Have I been up here before? No. Yes, this is where I came from. Is it? Is it? I feel like I came from the other direction. There, no, I was right. I was right. I was right. Okay, how do I get this moving? Do I have to just pull? Can't just grab it. Wait, how do I how do I play this? Because normally I would imagine like I need to like sit and pull this. It's not giving me an option to. Hmm. 
No, no weird contraptions. No? How does... The puzzles? Look, I... <laughs> it's, it's fine. I'm just dumb, I guess. Like, I'm not thinking... I'm trying to think like a two-year-old. Like, these puzzles are supposedly too hard for a two-year-old, but this is the, this is the most brilliant two-year-old on the face of this earth. Oh, and now it turns. No, sure. <laughs> My god. Can I play Dreams of the Five Nights at Chuck E. Cheese? Are there Five Nights at Chuck E. Cheese stuff uh, on Dreams? For sure. If that is actually a thing. I've had enough of my schizophrenia. Do you want to actually show yourself, or are you just going to be all creepy and try to scare me? Because I understand the walking simulator portion of the game. I'm not scared right now. What's my favorite color? Purple. Like a, like a deep royal purple. Nice. Too good. Uh, now I can just climb up and we're good to go. Now I can make it to the weird floaty white castle. Yeah. Because six stone owls weigh more than me. Fat baby. Your son loves my videos? Oh, thank you, Nick. Appreciate that. Once again, I say this is precarious for a two-year-old. The FNAF 4 update's looking good. What, for this? <laughs> ah, that's an owl. It's fine. <laughs> Jesus. All right. It's fine. Let's make it across the weird, rickety bridge Elden Ring thing. Yeah, I'm gonna crawl. That's a little faster. I love, I love the look of this, though. It's very cosmic. Very starry. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Do you want to hear the melody again? Yeah! Right. Oh, God! One more time. Mother! Then it's time for bed. Fix your eyes. Thank you, though. Appreciate it. Thanks for the memories. Even though they weren't so great. Oh, that was cute. Oh, finally. We must be getting closer. I guess. Yeah, love me that humming. Down we go. Nice. New level. I remember this being a relatively short game. We're probably halfway we at this back. point. Not including DLC stuff. All in all, it's a pretty short a game. To safety. Find a way out of this mess. That's the plan, Teddy. Just don't betray me. That's all I ask. Just don't do nothing weird. At least not yet. She must be so worried about you. Nah, she didn't give me don't a cake. Be afraid. I don't care. You and me will work this all out together. Okay. Teddy, you, I mean, you've you've done nothing other than be a light bulb for me. You can cool it. There we go. Don't mind me, I'm just sacrificing all my precious items. I gotta go this way, right? There we go. There we go. We're getting close to the actual scary part. Oh, okay, beautiful. Love that for me. Yes, she oh. sounds clearer now, don't you think? Yes. Come what? On. What in my no two-year-old brain? Lose. How am I processing all this information? All right, come on, Teddy. Let's do it, best friend. Let's get to the actual scary part, according to chat. Dude, you never played Among the Sleep before? 
no, I've never actually played it, but I've watched gameplay footage of it 10 years ago. So I don't really remember much of the game, but I watched it through like a Markiplier playthrough. This is exceedingly scarier than the forest. This is different. What is this place? I think we should keep quiet. Brother, who who put this two-year-old in Bloodborne? <laughs> That's the vibes I'm getting now. Hello? I'm telling you, this is Bloodborne at this point. Will I play the DLC? Heck yeah. It's either, it's either, it's either Bloodborne or just Dracula's oh, castle. They look like memories. Maybe the next one is behind those roots. Okay. I'm sure that's simple enough. Oh, okay. Gotta collect three puzzle pieces and that'll give me more things, right? Like that creepy picture back there? Mommy reading me a bedtime story? Oh, uh, all right, where would you like me to go? Unless you want me to actually like click on this. No? Okay. So. I figured there would be a way to like climb over some of these routes. Yeah, jigsaw puzzle. May ah, oh, wait a minute. So Come on. Am I not allowed to move the chair? Here, make it on it. I see what I gotta do. I gotta drop down over there, but I'd like to move a chair, a stool, a something. What is blocking this chair? But actually though, oh, wait. Puzzle piece, oh. Wait, are there just puzzle pieces hanging around here? Oh. Where does this one go? Over here? I don't know. I didn't know they would be just readily available. What about up here? Yeah, look up, I guess. No. Hmm, okay. Unless it's in a drawer. That makes sense. No? Thank you, Axie. Appreciate the two dollars. No. Okay. But there's gotta be there's gotta be a Oh no, there's no cabinet over there. Okay. I do feel like I need to move this chair, but I don't know. Necessarily why it won't move? Oh god. It'll kinda move. Cause cause my thought is I wanna move uh oh, can I move? Can I no oh, Jesus. My thought is like I would move the chair a little over here then I drop down and I feel like that's what I'm supposed to do but I can't move this chair. Is that what I'm supposed to do? Cuz it doesn't want to move. Unless I can move this one. Oh, see that's a lot easier. There we go. Yeah, the other one's stuck for me. So I wonder if I can try to drop down over here. No, maybe not. 
Here, that's fine. That's fine. I'm gonna carry this one over here. Maybe put a piece in and it'll unlock an area. That might be a thing. Let's see. Let me see. I have a headache from being so stupid. Man, it, I, I am, I, you have to really try hard to be as stupid as I'm being right now. Oh my God. This is terrifying. Oh. I don't like the direction this is going. Come on, Teddy, be my flashlight. It's all you're good for. I'm not supposed to fall into the water, am I? I feel like that's death. I don't know if I've been through any training to swim. It's also a pretty gross swamp, I'm just saying. The end is weird. Will I play fun times at Homers again? Probably not. I've beaten it like multiple times. Thanks for the five dollars, appreciate it. Oh. Uh, what? Uh, oh, it's a drawer coming out of a tree. Yeah, that makes sense. W game, a game ahead of its time. I think so. I think to compete in today's indie climate, it would have to change like a few things, like graphically it would have to be a little better. It would need to um, have puzzles. Well, I, I, I say, <laughs> this game is a lot more of a walking simulator than really a, a like a game with like intuitive puzzles. But then again, the puzzles are tripping me up because I'm just big dumb today. I'm, I'm almost like on a little vacation because I have a long weekend. I'll have to go in on uh, work on Monday, and uh, yesterday was just an in-service day where I just did a whole bunch of paperwork, but... So I'm, I'm kind of... Not that I'm checked out, but I'm just very relaxed. Too relaxed, even. Will I play Five Nights at Wario's fan games? I'll probably play some more eventually. There's so many out there, it's ridiculous. What's my favorite movie? Shoot. I really don't know. I love I love the Christopher Nolan Batmans. I loved Godzilla Minus One. That one might actually be one of my favorite movies now. Godzilla Minus One, ridiculously good. Um, I am a fan of the older Marvel stuff. The newer Marvel stuff just makes me upset. So, specific things, I really, I don't know. There's not like one movie that I'm like, this movie is like my favorite. But I also like really dumb movies like uh, Willy's Wonderland. I thought that was fantastically silly. Uh, let's see. Ugh, there was another one that came to mind. Oh, there's a couple horror movies that I think are really, really cool. That I think are criminally underrated. Uh, d does anyone know the VHS horror series? Oh my goodness. It's creepy stuff. That uh, creep. Creep 2 is alright. And then the houses October the, the what is that called the houses October built or the or the houses built in October what one, uh, one of the two are the is the title of that uh, movie but basically it's, it's about haunted houses uh, specifically like I think it's like just in Texas but also it had like a mysterious horror element to it as well it's pretty neat how do I get through this oh Gotcha. Too good. Give me that. I'm like Mangle, coming through ventilation systems. Ain't nobody got to stop me now. Well, maybe a fence. Oh, no. Drawers. Come here. There we go. Nice. Tree drawers. Do I know Alf? I have never watched anything ALF related. You mean like the puppet ALF? 
Yeah. Have I watched the horror movie Dead Stream? It's not good, but it's so much fun. Dead Stream. I know... I think there's a game called... A game. I know there's a movie called Dead Silence, so I know of that one. Is that a boat? Oh, that's convenient. Nice. Thanks, schizophrenia. Can I go in here, or is that a problem? Did I see... Did I see something? Wait, 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 wait. Did I see something? Hold on, hold on. I'm gonna play, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that again. I'm gonna do that again. Did you, did you guys see what I saw? Did I see the rake? I saw something. I saw something and that's kind of weird. Cause that was under the boat. It was a shadow with eyes. Hold on, check it out. First of all, I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to get on the boat, but I, I, I don't know how I'm supposed to do that. But if I do this, watch really closely, watch. What is that? What is that? It's like dead elf. Come on, that that's creepy. Would I ever play Baldi's Basics again? May, maybe. The game has always, like, frust frustrated me to high heaven. So, maybe. I don't know. Maybe. Alright, um... I feel like this is how I... went in the first place. Or maybe I just leave. Maybe I just won't worry about the boat. Get in, can't, am I supposed to get in the boat? Cause who cares? I have the puzzle piece. Let me just leave, right? Who cares? Do I remember Fraggle Rock? I know of Fraggle Rock. I've never watched any of Fraggle Rock, but I know it's like a Muppet uh, Jim Henson type thing for sure. The hell is happening? All right. I mean, if you're going to give me noises, give me something. I do got this. How about, dude, Dark Crystal was my jam. Love the Dark Crystal. Uh, this place feels, uh, let's not dwell here for too long. That's the plan. Teddy sounds like an old man. What's my take on the FNAF movie? I think the FNAF movie is a fantastic movie for FNAF fans. If you take away the FNAF fan part of this, why are you drink? Oh God. Wait, what is this? I'm sorry. No, 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 let's get the full picture. Okay, woman, looking in the well. Ooh, this is delicious water. I'm gonna drink from it. And then I'm gonna become a water demon. Okay. No, that checks out. And then I'm gonna raid a home as a water demon. Oh, Jesus. Ma'am? Ha! Ah! Ma'am? I've come to talk to you about your car's extended warranty. I know this is rude, but I'm peeking behind. Oh, nothing. Good. That'd be rude and insensitive. But yeah, the FNAF movie is a good movie for FNAF fans. If you're if you're not a FNAF fan, you'd just be like, "This is a this is a movie, right?" 
Would I ever play a game called um, Five? Got your leg. Got. Oh, your boots. Oh, <laughs> I was. Hello. Oh Jesus. Okay, it's fine. <laughs> that threw me. Would I ever play a game called uh, AGK Studio? Uh, what's that? Angry German kid. Do you do you y'all actually know the story of the angry German kid? So the video that he made of like the angry German kid, there was like a couple videos that he did, but they were all spoofs. They're all like made up. But he got bullied relentlessly, and he went through like a pretty dark time. He like he was one of that first era of viral people who went viral in not the best ways, you know, that they were just, it, it's the internet that he was bullied relentlessly, you know, I think he went through some really, really tough times. It was in a dark place for a while. Uh, cause I, I, and then I think he's, uh, doing pretty well overall, but it makes me feel weird to do anything angry German kid just because I get it. I watched the video back in the day and it was a hilarious video, which was a spoof, by the way, a lot of people treated it not as a spoof, right? Including, like, uh, news outlets and whatever. Okay, I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do here. Whoops. Let's get up here. But, I mean, I can't imagine a... A Five Nights at Freddy's game... Oh, well, it's a shadow creature. A Five Nights at Freddy's game called Five Nights at the Angry German Kid Studios It would be good at all. And it's talking about a meme from God knows how long ago. Like, literally at the birth of the internet. Or, yeah, the birth of YouTube, at least. There we go, now we're talking. Creepy swamp lady. Yeah, this is fantastic. Hello! Hi. What big hands you have. All right. Let's go out and deal with you, huh? I know what this is leading to. Ah, uh, yeah, see. Got to do a whole bunch of hiding. Yeah, woman's out here like, what are you doing in my swamp? What are you doing in my swamp? Hmm? I'm out here looking for a puzzle piece. Not onions. You can keep your swamp. Oh. Can I look for a triangle? Okay. I feel like I'm not in danger. I think I'm fine. Um. Oh, it's gotta be up here. Yeah, where the well is. That creates demon swamp people. How about the Tooth Fairy with the rock in it? Did I see that movie? I know there was a movie called The Pacifier, which had someone crazy like that. Did I, wait, did I pick up a puzzle piece? Oh wait, do I have everything? Oh, I'm good to go. Now I just gotta get out of here. Okay, that's fine. Survive this area, we're good to go. There we go. Let's see here. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Too good, mother. I know my puzzle pieces. That's how I survive swamp monsters. Knowing what a tri- <gasps> Knowing what a triangle is. Hey! I'm going this way. Run, I can't run, I'm two, I'm crawling. Oh, I gotta find a square. Okay. How hard could it be to find a square? Oh, come on, that's too quiet. That's not fair.
do I actually like is there something about avoiding the swamp person or again is this more of a walking simulator that as, as long as I walk where I need to go I'm okay can I move these yeah there we go too good man I'm a two-year-old with the strength of a three-year-old watch out you don't even know who could that be hi <laughs> oh no that's bottles sorry I thought I saw a face okay no that's nothing see that's fine wait totally catch up bottles not anything else God, brother I I damn near have the strength of a four-year-old watch out uh, unless wait a minute is there something here that I should grab oh not really. Okay, who's knocking on my door? I think I got a... Oh, no? Wait, what, what, what's next here? Shut up. That's what I gotta do. I just gotta bring it around town. Oh, wait! Nope, there it is. There it is. There we go. How could I not have seen it before? Nice. Nice. Easy. Easy. Spooky. <laughs> oh no, I do have to worry. Maybe not. She's just she's down in her swap. Who cares? I'm just, I'm just gonna leave this for Scooby-Doo and the gang. How do I get out of here? I just go back the same way. No, 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 I gotta go, I gotta go forward since I have the square key now. I'm, I'm forgetting my plan here, which, oh wait, I gotta, I gotta bring it around town. I gotta give it the old SpongeBob bubbles. Okay. Yeah. No creepy swamp ladies. No creepy swamp ladies. It's fine. Just hide in a barrel. Is Sophie sleeping? Yeah, she's somewhere. So I do have to worry. We have plenty. Ooh, can she hear that? No, it's fine, I'm home free. I'm home free, it's fine. I got it. I got it, I got it, I got it. We're okay. I got the co easy. I got the cognition of a five-year-old. Uh-oh! Don't die here. Nope. Thank you. No! No! Hot! No! Thank you! No! Thank you! Crawl! Crawl! That that was a little close. No, we're fine. See, we're fine. Huh? What? 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 I made a noise. Am I okay? All right, whatever. Who cares? No, thank you. No, thank you. Quicker. Quicker. Come on! There we go. See? Safe. Easy. She she caught on. She's also really bad at chasing me, so who cares? What's my favorite donut? Brother, I just love plain glazed donuts. If I'm feeling spicy, 
I'll give it some like little cinnamon or just like some sugar on top. Not like the powdered sugar, like the sprinkled sugar. And I, and I like my donuts like super fluffy, right? So like think Krispy Kreme, right? And then just make that super fluffy. I'm a, I'm a plain guy. I have friends who make fun of me all the time for that. Of just being like just super plain. Don't care. Sometimes plain's best. Love it. It's like how my favorite my favorite ice cream is vanilla. And if I'm feeling fancy, I'm going French vanilla. Mom's gone. Now I'm reading a book alone in the forest. Child neglect. I used to like getting sprinkles, but um, I I mean I can't remember the last time I actually like sat down and like went to Baskin Robbins to get ice cream. I thought I was done with you. Okay, so you're still gonna be a problem. Plenty of places to hide though, so I should be okay. Helps that the swamp monster's stupid. Nope, can't go that way. Ah, crap. Ah! No, thank you! No, thank you! Jesus, okay. My God. How do I like my eggs? Scrambled. Scrambled, but like, I don't mind any way you cook eggs for me. I really don't. So like, I'll, I'll happily eat like sunny side up. So like, I like sunny side up eggs, but most of the time I've like had just had eggs scrambled. Okay, I think I gotta get around and do this. Oh, she's dumb and going that way. Okay, that's what, that'll work. Oh, I love omelets. Alright, let's see here. Oh, that looks promising. Man, you're picking up on the noise. Am I in trouble? I haven't been banshee screamed at yet. <laughs> Did you just see her rise up out of the swamp? No, thank you. Oh, that's the memory. Hold on. I'm so close. Oh, am I? Oh! No! 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 Jesus. Okay. I, I really have to stay close to a hiding spot. Hmm. Oh my goodness. So Sophie's got me. Dude, Sophie's laying under my bed sleeping. She's not helpful. Alright, time to crawl. There we go. Whoa! Whoa, where are you coming from? Girl! That's not even fair. Girl! You gotta clean those feet. Jesus. Okay, that'll work. Her her AI is weird. It's interesting. All right, so I gotta go over here, go across the bridge, then take a left. What breed is Sophie? She's she's a cat. I think, I think she would be defined as a short-haired tortoiseshell calico. If that makes any sense. Like, she looks like a great cat, but when you look really carefully, she's got a whole bunch of colors to her. Dude, girl, where are you? Clean those feet. Can you see these feetsies?
Well, this is lovely. Okay. Um. Let's. Let's see if I. Oh no, she's smart. No, no, no. She knew. I was trying to see if I can like get her stuck. She's got weird feet. If you just like take a picture and like zoom in on those toes, my god. It's gotten weird. Here we go. Here we go. Now we're looking good. I think. Oh, come on. Hidey holes. Yes, 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 yes. Good. Just in case. Yes! Nice. Crawl, little Timmy, crawl. Do I even have a name? I feel like I'm still in trouble. Oh, I'm gonna hide for a sec. Oh, I'm still in trouble, she knows. Does Sophie scream at you when it's feeding time? She doesn't scream at me, but she'll get close to me and like push into me. If I'm sleeping and she's hungry, she'll, like, tap me on the face quite a bit. But often, like, if I'm awake and I'm in bed, like, she'll, like, jump up and, like, just sit near me and meow at me. Here we go. I feel like I just gotta move this and I'm home free, right? Yeah. Up, oh, get down there. Too good! Look at me go! Into the jelly! Give me the book! It's your book, Lizard. Oh, come on. I'm thirsty. The rabbit cried and cried. She cried so much that her tears filled the bottom of the well. That that's a sad story! I might have skipped a few pages, but whatever. It's a book! Too bad I can't read! Have I watched Has Been Hotel? Dude, I... I freaking uh, love Has Been Hotel. Back. I'm, I'm blown away by that. The music's real catchy. What was that? That thing? She seemed so sad and desperate. Yeah, she ate swamp juice. I, I think uh, Has Been Hotel is pretty fantastic and I can't wait for season two hey, it's going to be so nice when we're through with all this and we can play together favorite song in it oh uh the dad one where you have Lucifer and Alistair but like just the first part when when Mimsy comes in that just ruins the song real bad but the vibe that I forget what it's called like the dad song Great, Hell's Greatest Dad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought it was really cool. But that's that's the thing. All the songs in there are bangers. Like the other day, I was humming like "Loser Baby." Good. Nice. Another one down. Cool. Nice. Just one more horrible thing to collect. We are getting very close to her. I can feel it. Lovely. Oh, she must be so worried about you. Favorite character? I've bounced back and forth, but probably Alistair. Dude, I I, I want to know so much about Alistair's backstory because it looks so interesting. Like, like the final scene of him with uh, him coming to the destroyed radio station. I, I really, I really want to know a lot more about Alistair, and I get like that's the point. He's supposed to be a little mysterious, and you don't really know his, um, like, what he's even supposed to be really do. Like, what are his motives? And I kind of feel like he'll. I, I almost like half want him to be like a bad guy towards the end of like the entire series. You know what I mean? Because it feels like he's got something going behind this, like, back there. Man. I'm excited. I'm excited for more. 
This looks safe. I think the I think some of the characters are over designed. If you catch my drift, like I think there's like too much going on in some of the characters. But other than that, I mean everything else is great. Husk is a mood. That's that's fair. I really like Husk, like for that specifically. What is that? Oh, I get it. I got to make it over there and then unlock that for the drawer to go across. Okay. Uh, let's see here. I feel like I could just climb up, right? I like House because Keith David. Yeah. I mean, as soon as I heard um, Keith David's voice, I'm like, oh, yeah, okay. That, that checks out. It's a very distinct voice. For sure. My, f uh, my favorite character is Alistair. Do I like spiders? No, of course not. Spiders are terrible. They're horrible. Um, they all should die. And I don't care how good they are to the it, to the environment. I I don't care. Everything's terrible when it comes to spiders. Unhook the latch and off we go. No oh, sheep. Nice. Nice little addition. Favorite episode? Oh, shoot. I don't know. Probably the heaven reveal. There we go. Ooh. Let's not fall, baby Timmy. Let's not do that. Give me that. Nice. Five minutes that Yoshi they made a spider Yoshi called Spider. Did I play that before? Was that... Uh, someone said in a comment section that there was an, like an update that updated him to be more spider-like or something. This looks lovely. Hi. Hello? I got an achievement called Bad Lullaby. Maybe I should leave the room. It's fine. Am I in like the back wall? Am I in the back walls of the house? Ooh! Maybe I should stay away from coats. Should I go this way? No, there's nothing over here. Doesn't seem like it. What about Angel Dust is a spider? Well, I mean, like, but Angel Dust only has the properties of, like, oh, he has multiple arms. That's it. That I can deal with. I'm, I'm very happy that, like, because I, I don't remember any of this at all. I'm glad that the game is staying creepy. You know what I mean? That's kind of nice. Oh, God! That must have hurt! Jesus. Okay. Is that the coat demon? Yes? No? No explanation. There's mommy or me or something. Oh Jesus! Let's just close. That's right. This is this is one giant convoluted closet. Oh Jesus! Oh, this is safe. This is oh. which which coat is it? Which coat is the creepy coat? Which one is it? Oh no! Come on, get over there. Don't get stuck on a boot. I, 
I felt like I was backtracking, but I guess not. Okay. Do I have to find a moon? Oh. Uh. Oh. Now I actually have to throw stuff. He's simple. Eh. Oh, that was bad. It's a terrible time to need to learn how to throw. Okay. That. Maybe like a button to it, right? Oh, there we go. Found it. Found the button. Aim and eh. There you go. That's not dangerous at all for a child. Out here playing with glass. Easy. Thanks, Emirates. Appreciate it. You too, K man. Ah, gotta find a star one now. These are kind of cool puzzles. I get to break stuff. Got it. Found it. Oh, should I have brought the tennis ball with me? There's gotta be something over here to throw. I thought we already established this mom humming. Am I wrong? Hmm. Not sure what to do here, actually. Like, maybe, maybe I do have to go back and get a, uh, get a ball. I feel like they would just had one at the ready. Maybe not. Let me see. Yeah, here we go. This game gives me chills every time I play it. Now seeing me play it as a dream come true. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I, I felt it was about time for me to actually sit down and play it. Like I've said before many times during this live stream, I, I've I've seen gameplay back when the game first came out. I feel like I'm not really sure exactly what to do here. What? No climbing? Okay. Oh, maybe I do. Oh, wait. Hold on. Nah, this is the play. There we go. So no there. Oh my god, okay. So somehow I have to get that going. Not sure how though. How do I do this? What level in what game is the hardest? Oh, just like any game? Oh, dude, that's that's way too much. I mean, everything's objective, right? I mean, I can think of like ones that are hard just because the puzzles and like figuring anything out is annoying. So like the water temple in uh, Majora's Mask. My God, what an annoyance. I think I'm doing something wrong here. Um, is there a way? Yes, there is. Yes, okay, this is absolutely what I need to do. Yeah, okay. Sussy Wussy has a chapter five. I think I already knew that. Problem with Sussy Wussy is like, if. Like, if you break the game, because I, I've broken the game with Sussy Wussy before. 
There we go. And it's made it so that for me to get out and unstuck, I have to restart the entire game. And it's too annoying to like actually go through. And Sussy Wussy is actually a bad game. What? Okay. Okay. We're all just gonna pretend like nothing happened. Yeah, stop screaming at me, I'm two. Which, well, you know, well, well, I'll talk more about this game and everything about it when we get to the ending. Because that's the thing, like, and again, people love this game because of the ending, and the ending explains everything and why everything's weird. And I think it does a decent job doing it. Alrighty. <gasps> oh my god! Thank you. I didn't understand the ending when you were a kid. Um... If you still don't know what this is or understand the game's ending, well, maybe things will be a little clearer once we finish this game. Which will be, which will be sooner rather than later. This, I love how everything's just like, just, it's just a sticker on top of the drawer. Like I'm like, I'm literally standing on top of knives. Not safe. Let's see here. Okay. Take an apple. Bam. Oh no, I've broken things. Don't eat me. <gasps> oh, can I hide? Will you let me? Oh, maybe I don't maybe it doesn't matter. I legitimately can't tell if I'm in trouble. I think I'm okay. I can make it back, right? Yes? Is this right? Yes. No. I gotta go around. I gotta bring it around town. Yeah, listen, like, this is a game, like, back in the era of the OG FNAF stuff, for sure. This game came out before Five Nights at Freddy's. Which, which, is, which is weird to think about how there was ever a pre-FNAF era, you know what I mean? Easy now. This looks promising. My god. Not sure what that's supposed to simplify. Big old scary monsters. Okay, it's fine. Hmm. Trapped in the cage, I suppose. Sorry, 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 sorry. That's all he is, he's just mad every time I break something. matter too much. There we go. Oh, can I not move that? There's gotta be something I can move. Really? No? Thought I could. Let's see. That'll work, I guess. No? Wait, what am I supposed to do here? What is this? Oh, that's okay, that's just nothing. Um Oh. It's 
kind of weird. So, let me see. I think I have to... What, just make a little building block tower? Do I know Futurama? Oh, yeah. I haven't watched, like, the new Futurama stuff on Hulu. I really should. Can I climb this? Is this supposed to be climbed? It just feels weird. Um, unless... Okay, I, don't, I actually don't know what to do here. Because either... Oh, what? All right, whatever. What do I do here? Um, you know, I feel like I have to climb something, but I can't just climb right here. I can't pull out those boxes that I tried. I can move all this stuff, but at the same time, unless, it feels like it won't let me climb. Actually, I have an idea. Wait, what if we do this? What if I make like a little ramp? Will that work? Will you let me ramp it? Feels like you, ah, it feels like it wouldn't let me. If this works, that's just stupid. Like the problem is like, I have to like click on things to actually climb them. What the hell? Okay, um... Yeah, I feel like I have to ramp it. But I have, like, no control. Oh my god, what was that? I, like, sprinted for no reason. You, look, you can go under the table. But what do you do from there? Because it's not giving me any options to touch and move any of these boxes. So that gives me either I have to climb over this, which again doesn't even seem. What if I throw things? Wait. That doesn't help at all. <laughs> um. <laughs> I feel like that would be my best play. Again, um, not great. Unless I knock this stuff down. Oh, wait, maybe. so stupid. I'm so dumb. It's not, it's not obvious. Everything's too dark. What is this now? All right, maybe I have to break this now. Hold on, let me, let me take a good look around. Now let's go this way. Oh no. I have to not make a sound. What if, what if we do this? All right, ready? Ready? Bam! Who cares? Here comes the shadow monster! Oh God. See? Oh, oh. Easy. No need to break into bottles. I don't know why there's so many bottles around in the first place. But that's how you do it. You see, I'm gonna open that just in case. Okay. All right. Um. 
Oh no, that's just a hide. Okay. I wasn't sure. I was just checking. It's alcohol? No, I I I, I do think it is alcohol. Easy on the basketball. Hidey hole, but with a chair. Anything significant about the chair? <laughs> no, no, it's just a chair jump scare. Okay, cool. <laughs> right. What's my favorite uh, FNAF care? Oh, that was a little close. My favorite FNAF character, prop. Uh, really, my answer has always changed because I really don't have a favorite. Maybe Glamrock Freddy, only because he's the only animatronic to ever have a personality. Other than Baby, but even she was pretty robotic. Oh, Jesus. You're not making this easy on me. Oh. Too good. I'm too good. Let's just do this. Yeah. Oh, oh, don't, oh, God, I almost fell. It's fine. Don't care. Do not care. There we go. Shadow demon can't find me. Big ol' stupid head. There we go. Oh, Jesus. Ah, we're close to the memory. Is there anything else I gotta do? Other than just touch things? Wait, what do I do here? I don't drop down, do I? Because I feel like that's... No, because I picked up the star! No, I'm supposed to do this. Okay, no, 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 we're good. We're good. I was like, it's better... Like, you brought me back to, like, the beginning of this level, so I wasn't sure exactly what was going on. But there we go. Look at that. Nice. Big ol' hug! Or whatever. Are my favorite animals. They have big ears and a long look. You call me fat? Is that what's happening? Is that why you didn't give me cake at the beginning of all this? Give me my stupid elephant. Are you gonna give me my stupid elephant or not? Gonna, mom, typical mom, she's gonna make me work for it. She's gonna be all mean about it. Yeah, let's have your two-year-old climb up like 15 feet in the air to get your stupid elephant. Give me that. Now I've fallen, I've broken my legs. How do you like that, Got mom? the final memory. Let's hurry. Oh my, I just realized that all these like little memories are things that he pointed out at the very beginning of this. Well, except except for the train. No one cared about the train other than mother, you know, pretending to feed me cake. Oh, are you okay, mother. I hear the humming. Can I, can I please? Can, can I? Can I? It's it's just a tilted door. I should still be able to go. Please. I put the teddy down. No. Oh, why? Okay. Why offer that as an option then? If I'm not gonna go that way. All right. 
That's convenient. Don't even care. Don't even care. Go! Go! Go, Jimmy! Oh, did he get me? Oh, Teddy! 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 No! He got Teddy! Jesus. There's also a DLC. Yeah, I've never, ever seen anything on the DLC, so I'm gonna... I'm gonna jump on that, for sure. Poor Teddy. <laughs> it's, it's morbid, too. Sad. Oh my god. Okay. Where's this gonna spit me out? No, I actually have- I have not seen Hell of a Boss, though, but I should watch it. Not now. Mm, lore. Hi, Mommy. Now. Nope. Ah, the- the lore. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, see? See, now you get a little bit of a picture of what everything's going on, you know? You hate the mom in this game so much. I can see that. That's, I mean, that's fair. Oh, God. I mean, you get a much better picture of this game now. Even from the- I didn't re I, I- I didn't remember, like, necessarily this part of the game revealing the lore. I thought it was, like, the very end. I will find you. You'll find me. What, am I outside the house? Oh, there we go. The playhouse. My little sanctuary. Honestly, it reveals the mother's true behavior. Yeah, so my interpretation... Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let the... Uh, I'm gonna go through the rest of the game before I talk about all the other stuff in, you know. Because I think there's a few things that I'm not super clear on at the moment. I just want to see how the ending plays out. It will give me a better idea. Okay, so there's the elephant. So I need to put the bare hand there, which is so morbid. Do I get Teddy back? I feel like I would. I feel like it's going to be a thing where, like, Mom in the morning gives me like a stitched up teddy bear. See that? That's what I would do. And it would be weird to just get rid of Teddy entirely. Not that he's been like necessarily a com comfort to me. Y you do get Teddy back. See, yeah, y you would have to have closure there, right? Hey, we did it. We hid in our closet and everything's f fine now. Well, fine's a relative term, but. Kind of gives you an idea of potentially everything that just happened. Because, like, hey, we have the, the moon, we have the sun. Maybe there's just the general chaos that has ensued. 
the puzzle piece. Teddy found dead in a closet at age one. Like, what, age one day. Yeah. So you see all these things that were present throughout our... I struggle to call them hallucinations, but our interpretations of events. You know what I mean? Our house has seen better days because we've been running around the house the entire time Basically, enduring the wrath of mom and potentially dad. You know? I just want to get to the end. I just want to, I just want to see if dad makes an appearance. See, now it's the morning and she's regretting her actions. See what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, see? But is she also the coat monster? I don't know. Hey there. He's missing an arm, by the way. My god. <sighs> hey. Can I have Teddy back? Easy. Don't. Stay away from me! Yeah, see? Yeah. Is at the door. Hi there, little one. Come here. Did you like your gift? What happened to his arm? Yeah, it's dead. Don't worry. We'll fix it up. I don't think it's CPS. I really don't think it's CPS. Um, I feel like you would have made that a little bit more clear. And the language there that he says, like he says, you know, hey, did you like your gift? So he came earlier in the day. If it was CPS, it would have been like a multiple visit, just back to back. They would have gotten the kid out of there immediately. Um, well, so, uh, supposedly. Sometimes dealing with CPS is cut and dry as one might think. Um, the game's not over yet. I'll, I'll, let it, I'll let it play out. I know there's a DLC. We're going to play the DLC because I've never seen anything from the DLC, but I don't, here, let me look this up, because I, I don't know who the closet character's supposed to be. I guess it's not dead. I always thought, like, the closet, like, the closet, wait, hold on. Among the sleep, who is the coat monster? He's called the Heap. It's a giant coat monster that represents when the mother is angry and when the toddler is making a mess. So it is the mom. That's a little confusing because they're having like two different monsters represent like the same person, but I guess for different reasons. Because, yeah, okay, so you have to ignore the dad. So mom just has custody at the moment. So there's... People were talking about how, like, the dad was abusive to mom. I don't know if that was ever among the sleep. I feel like maybe the museum will give us a little bit more info. I mean, they're obviously... No parent took the divorce yet. I mean, they're clearly separated. You know? I mean, no matter, no matter how you... I don't know if there's anything in this game that would indicate the father to be abusive. 
like specifically abusive to like either the mom or the son, or the son. I mean, clearly this is about a mother who's going through a very tumultuous time and not making the best choices in life. No matter what she's doing, she's in the wrong, right? Yeah, I think only the mom's the abusive one. I think so too. I think so too. Oh, the coat monster? Yeah, that's just a normal fear of coats. Oh, that's fair. No, you're right. No, you're right. So you have the other part of mom that's just, you know, the alcoholic piece of it. And then you have the coat monster and that's just your fear of coats. Sure. Easy. easy. My God, this is, I think this is all the, everyone who like, uh, yeah, I'm going to skip through that. I think that's everyone who, um, I think this was a Kickstarter. Chapter select, home, playground, forest, into the closet finale. Okay, cool. Um, birthday new store. Oh, that's just a restart. Coat supremacy. She's basically not taking the divorce well as the, uh, as well as the dad. Yeah. I mean, she clearly needs to get help, but at the same time, she has a child that she needs to worry about. And so she's being very selfish in that she is not, not only is she not doing what's in the best interest of the child, but she is also actively abusing the child, or at least it seems like she's actively abusing him because that is the... Basically, the entire game is the trauma that the two-year-old is experiencing dealing with the mom when she's in those states. That's that's what this game is, and that's why it what that's what made the end of this vi uh, of this um, game so impactful ten years ago. That's what people that's what people remember from this game. Like I I didn't remember any of the in between stuff. I just remembered like some of the beginning and then the finale, right? Let's, let's dive into the prologue. Because I think the prologue's the DLC, right? Because I don't, I don't think I've ever seen the prologue. And I'm just a two-year-old out in the cold. the animal cult this is fine it's not about the abort uh, it's not about the divorce it's about alcohol like addiction no I mean you can make a case either way I mean I do think that both play into each other I mean it could have been uh, like the thing is maybe we don't exactly know maybe hey maybe we'll find out in the prologue right you could argue it either way that the mom has a true um, alcohol addiction and that's what caused the divorce and caused the parents to be separated and then she's continuing to deal with that or it's vice versa oh <gasps> what what is this I mean clearly this is when I was one year old right it's not my birthday yet Why is it freezing? Oh, because mom left the door open? Oh my god. Okay. Maybe this will give us a little bit of an, uh, an intro here. Maybe this will give us an idea of mom a little bit more. If I can escape. I mean, I don't have Teddy at all. Am I able to do anything? Oh, there we go. Probably close this. So, so cold. Oh, hi. Well, I'll save you. This is actually the dad's place. This is the dad's place. Uh oh. Please, more warm, more happy. That's the plan. Oh. Brother, you're built like a broken stick. What? Oh, okay, I guess you're mine now. What am I doing? Just collecting I animals? Hiding. Oh, scared. Oh, no. Is the prologue going to give me Please some weird stuff? Because clearly we're not happy. Oh, get, get out of here, stupid pillows. Yeah, if this is the dad's place and we're scared of the monster, that's not looking good for dad. Let's see. 
All right, I got I got to find me some uh some stuff though. Oh. No. That's mildly terrifying. Okay. Bro, he was like <laughs> Did you see his body? Let's see. Uh oh, no, I can unlock it. Kind of seemed like. Oh, that's lovely. Just seemed like everyone would be locked in my room, but I guess that's the that's the point of this DLC. Just find all the animals. That's problematic. That that does give me concern. I'm gonna grab this though. Why not? Okie dokie. <gasps> We're finding out why they split. Oh, now I'm interested. Okay, no. Okay. I, now I'm interested in the psychology of all this. Have you heard of Coronation Day? It's a Mario Horror game. Yes, I actually almost played it um, for my most recent uh, Mario.exe game video. But maybe I'll uh, look at it again in the future and decide to play it. Father, do you live in a log cabin in the middle of Minnesota? No wonder I left. No wonder mom left you. It's cold. Who are you, Abraham Lincoln? Oh, God. Help, please. Okay. Oh, I, I, I gotta make everything warm. That's what this is. Please. Can I close that? I have to get a better angle. Oh, no, I got it. Oh, hi there. You a weasel? Have you ever played Friday Night Funkin'? I... Have I ever... Did I ever play the original? I don't know if I did. I've only played, like, mods. A lot of people come to my channel not to watch me to play, like, the original games of stuff. I just play, like, the mods and the offshoots, like Five Nights at Freddy's fan games, you know? Seems what people seem to like. There we go. Now we're looking good. Nice. Happy, please. More happy. Beggars can't be choosers, choosers, weasel. Bear with me. If Vizzy Pop makes a Hasman Hotel game, will I play it? Depends. I mean, depends on what, like, what kind of genre it is. But I would be inclined to play it. So cold. Because I'm really digging the characters in the story. Dude, I would love like an RPG. I don't know how they would make like a turn-based RPG. It probably won't happen, but it would be cool. Uh, oh, hi. Would you like an owl? Okay, no. Um, I thought that I had. I guess not. Okay. I thought I had the, um... What is this? Ost eek frockost. What? I feel like that's a prank. Like, someone in this game put that in there and you made me cuss in Iceland. In, I in Icelandic. I, I thought I had the music box with me. Do I not? Fat Nuggets. That's a fantastic name for that pig, by the way, so I think that's great. There, no, I, I feel like it'd be silly to just leave this area, so. Is there a music box, like, hidden somewhere? Or maybe I have to turn on the radio. Oh, maybe that's what I gotta do. Just make it radio time. What? Oh, too far. Too far. There we go. What's the noise? Oh, there we go. 
Okay, so do music things and everything's gonna be great. Thank you. You're welcome. Are you a cat or a weasel? Doesn't matter. Two. I feel like I should go upstairs. I feel like that's the next logical step. Did I play Pizza Tower? So I've rec I've I played a bunch of Pizza Tower on Twitch at the very tail end of December. I never finished it though. Maybe I should go back and finish it. I still have the footage for it because my plan originally was to uh, record all of Pizza Tower and then cut it down into like a forty-five minute video, which I, I still might. But I I'm literally at the final boss and I never actually sat down to complete it. <laughs> So maybe. I'm not even scared of the noises. I mean, you you have shown me no reason to be scared at the moment. I'm sure I'll regret, regret those words, but prove to me why I should be afraid. I got some place to hide. I feel like I'm in trouble. Oh. I'm in I'm scared. Nope. Nope. No. 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 Oh. I, I don't even know what happened. So if you could, would you would I be dared to play some classical horror games like Resident Evil? Like the old stuff? I mean, you you couldn't dare me because I don't fold to peer pressure like that, but I mean, I have to, you know, consider what's best for my channel in general. But I do like, um, I, I, oh my god. Oh, now you're active? I do like the Resident Evil series. I don't like the old stuff. Ha 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 ha, can't get me. Look like a penguin. No, he does, he looks like a penguin. See this? He's got the feet, he's got like, kind of his arm hanging down, like a flipper. Um, get me. Okay, seriously, I need you to move. It's not healthy, sir. There we go, okay, disappear into the ether. Oh, let's see here. That's the, it's a weird thing, because I, I feel like I want to go upstairs, but clearly that's blocked off. So I'm missing something. Yeah, I mean, upst upstairs I think is the play. I just need to figure out, uh oh. Have I been in here? No! Okay, cool. See, I knew I was missing something. Ah, no, there we go. Cold. Cold. Uh, don't worry. Happy, please. More happy. Okay, I, I have better lingu lingu linguistic skills than you. That doesn't help because I butchered that word. But shut up. Oh, heck yeah. It's my favorite. I'd watch that show. There we go. So that's three of them. I think there's one more downstairs somewhere. Maybe over... Stop it. Might have missed something over here. Oh, that was a little close. Not here? I feel like this would have been the perfect spot. What's the goal here? Um, at the moment I am finding animal-like doll plushy creatures. One's a human. 
because it's super cold and I'm trying to warm them up so they can be happy. Oh God, I didn't even realize. Have a shoe. Oh God, okay. There's two more. Oh, are there five total? Uh, maybe I can go upstairs now because I found three downstairs. So I feel like I feel like this prologue DLC would end after I um, catch them all, right? So I, I, I'd be surprised if it's like, oh, you find all five downstairs, and then upstairs there's something totally different because the game's already introduced you to only like five of these things. Let me see if this is open now. The child lock is nope, still locked. Okay, so there's still stuff I got to do downstairs. Is this the DLC? I'm pretty sure. It's the prologue. So I think the prologue is the DLC. You can't collect the fifth one? Okay, so so only a fourth one still that I'm looking for. Which might be in here. Oh, hi. It's Father with the pipe. Hard worker? Am I in trouble? Hey, 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 no, no, no. Easy there, bub. Oh, I feel in danger. I'm just gonna take the tobacco and smoke it and I'm two years old. It's fine. I'm causing a mess. Is there any reason to be up here? I guess not. Is there? It'd be silly to have to climb all the way up. Really? Oh! Nice. Secret. Alright. That totally doesn't break my legs. You playing Among the Sleep? Yes! I'm playing the prologue to it, and... Really, at this point, I'm a little stuck. I'm not sure what else I really need to be exploring. So I feel like I've searched everywhere that needs to be explored. Like, I'm kind of I'm kind of waiting for, like, an excuse to go upstairs, because that's clearly, like... You have to go outside? Outside. Okay. I mean, I'll happily do that. I'm just not sure... Sure where the door is. Like the exit. <laughs> this kid's a superhuman. How do how how are his legs still working? Brother, I don't know. I'm just I'm just built different. Okay, so if that was a front door. I think I'm out here. When I'm gonna do another try not to laugh challenge? Probably literally after I end this video. Or end this live stream. That looks like a front door. Oop. I accidentally unplugged myself, it's fine. There we go, we're fine. Nope, you work, please work. Please work. Did I break this right now? What a horrible time. That's terrible timing. What the hell? How did, how did I break this now? Do y'all hear the little beeps of it connecting and not connecting? What in tarnation? Are we good now? We're not good now? Make up your mind! What is this? This bush league is what it is! What? In the ever loving tarnation. Alright. Are we going are we just going classic? Um, options, controls. 
Can I change the controls? Pajamas. Can I change my pajamas? Bear pink. What? Why did no one tell me this? Yeah, we're going bear pajamas. For sure. Controls look sensitivity. Can I change things? Oh god, if I can't. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. Like it won't make up its mind whether it's gonna work or not. But that's so odd. Go for the yellow ones. I don't even know what to do. Like, it's the connection. Well, you know what? What if I do this? What if I cheat the system? I'm going to try something that's probably not going to work. And I don't care. If this works, I'm going to be impressed with myself. <laughs> GameCube. Sure. This, this is not how it's supposed to go. But I don't care. You know what? Get out of here, Xbox. GameCube controller supremacy. Thank you, GameCube. Um, oh, that's not a front door at all. Great. Uh, who knows what the hell I'm doing. That looks like a front door. Maybe that's my exit. Am I supposed to go outside? Only one person said to go outside, but I'm, I'm literally out of other ideas. Checks. No, I see that's locked. Okay. Guys, I don't know where to go. Other than here? I wonder, can I get outside this way? Maybe. Dude, the GameCube is such a good controller. Oh, can I not? Oh, that would have been so big brain. Maybe because I got this little cutscene, I can go upstairs. Maybe I missed an audio cue or something. Not that window. Well, I mean, the point is for me to like close a whole bunch of windows, so I, I, I feel like go outside. Happily. Tell me how to go outside and I will. That's gonna be still locked. Yeah, Goss, it, I mean, go outside. Happily, tell me where. Through the window after you find the fourth one. I don't know where the fourth, okay. That's like, that's like me beginning Final Fantasy VII and saying, hey, I'm in Midgar, tell me where to go, and you're, and everyone in chat's like, go fight Sephiroth. I'm like, great, there's like 80 steps before that. The basement? Okay, cool. Happily, but again, where, where would a basement be? See, a basement makes sense. Over here? Oh, thank you. Fourth one's behind my chair. Oh, you're right, it's back there? Oh, okay, that's fair. Laundry room first, which is in the basement. Okay. So. Basement it is. I just need to find the interest in the basement. That's my issue. I'm just super turned around. Jesus God! Brother! Came out of nowhere. Stop it. Gotta find the secret exit among the laundry pile. Great. This is all information that doesn't matter until I find the basement. That, that remains my priority. And I wish I still had like the teddy bear so I can have the light. Yeah, that's nothing. You're safe, cool, that's fine. That's 
this room, so that's nothing. Who cares? Like it doesn't it doesn't matter if I get caught at this point. I'm just trying to methodically like know where everything is. That's this room. I mean, I don't want to look it up, but I'm I'm running out of ideas here. What just happened? Oh, do you get me? Okay, uh, basement door should be near the stairs. Cool. Thank you for actually being useful, your greatest fear. Appreciate it. Like, that's actually helpful. As, as long as, as long as it's actually there. Okay, cool. Let me go there. Which is... somewhere. Okay, near the stairs, huh? I feel like it'd be like under the stairs, right? Brother, what? That's so unclear! That's so dark! What is this lore supposed to be? Wow. Like secret tunnel. Oh my god! Could you- Oh, could you not? Oh crap. Yeah, one-year-old child, don't get eaten by the furnace. Hello? Oh god, okay, yeah, I'm dead. Wow. Jesus Christ. Okay. A Wario apparition in um, in Among the Sleep? Okay. I feel like I do still need to climb here. So I don't know if I can outrun. So I think I have to climb and hit this. Got it. Yeah, that was easy. I wonder what the speed runs look like for this game. That's the plan. Over? Not really. Oh, you want me to climb? I see. Why does the furnace monster remind me of Home Alone? I don't know. You tell me. There we go. That's what I need. The speed runs are mostly just walls. What do you mean? Like, um, hello, can I please have a climb? There we go. I was about to say. Get these out of here. Get that out of here. And... There we go. Where's that hidden, uh... Fluff ball? I thought it was gonna be in the- Oh my god! Could you not? We okay? Oh my Jesus! All right. Oh, I see. You're in here. Oh, okay. So I have to hit that. Let me climb up here. Hit that. There we go. And so. What? Okay. 
Oh, I get it. I think I get it. Hit that. Quickly move this? No? Or I can take this. Got it. I'm going to very quickly. There we go. I can throw it and knock this over. Hopefully. That does not help. Not at all. Okay. All right. Um, oh, I have to... Do I have to climb all the way up? Uh, it doesn't really make sense. How am I supposed to do this? Like, I need to bring something over, right? Oh my god, I know exactly what to do. The stool, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, this is, okay, this is a little dicey. I have to bring this over. But like, step by step. Oh my, I did that in one go? Wow. I'm too good, I guess. Nice. There we go. Hello. Gimme. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, so now people were saying I can leave, but... Uh-oh. I guess it doesn't matter. Am I in danger? I don't... I don't think so. I mean, I would think I would go upstairs now. I mean, why why make a whole upstairs area if I can't access it? You know? So I have the four animals. Or I have four of the animals. A again, there may be a fifth one. Yeah, see, we're good to go upstairs. Nice. Okay. I'm um, too short for that. Let's see if we got anything cool upstairs. <laughs> Definitely where I need to go. Okay. There we go. There we go. How do I save you? Let's see here. I feel like you gotta do some climbing. Something. When Dad realized that his son is a one year one year old genius, hundred percent. Arguments happening downstairs. Let's see here. Can I open the door here? Nope. Is there a reason for me to be over here? Dad out here practicing practicing card tricks. Oh my god. Oh nice, a hat. A little useless, but whatever. Um, no, I gotta, I gotta be near the rabbit, right? Unless... Climbing. Yeah, when in doubt, climb. Put the little stool thing on the boxes to get on top of it. The stool, I would not be able to move because it's still cold. So really, I have to get over there and deal with the cold before I can do anything with the stool. Which is the play. Uh, yes. Right here. Nice. Yeah, there we go. Much better. 
No! Uh, well, closing the door. Sorry. Uh. I want to hear the drama. So, Dad's confronting Mom about something. Complain more. Maybe Dad not... Maybe Dad isn't a great guy. Man had his hand up. Okay, that's you packing. Going away. Yeah. I better be able to get this rabbit. I feel bad. I must save my plushie. There we go. Nice. Let me have the rabbit. See the rabbit? Or not. as much as I thought it would. That's okay. Yeah, she deprives, deprives us of cake and now the bunny. They dead for sure. Well, also it is just a figment of the child's imagination, so there is that. I'm just gonna stick with that. We do have the museum. Is this gonna tell us, like, is, there, is this gonna tell us, like, some extra things? Oh, man. All right, let's check out the museum. So, uh, apparently, some people are saying there's a lot in the museum. Oh. So, I do, I really, oh, Jesus. Oh, hi. I do like things that are, like, extras or museum-like things where I get to walk around as a character. It's a bunch of cool art. Creatures hide a heap. Humble beginnings. Oh, so this is all like you can just read through it. And all their ideas from Among the Sleep before it was actually created. Nice. Yeah, love Teddy. This music? Yeah. How's it going, buddy? Hey, and welcome to Teddy's Grand... Uh, I mean, the Museum of Among the Sleep. Uh, thank you. Go on. Take a look around. That's the plan, buddy. Don't interrupt me. Just, I guess I'm just gonna go wherever I want. Oh, you'll just kind of leave me around, won't you? All right. You love the jacket monster? This is a big area, actually. The prologue was added as a free DLC a couple of months after release of the game. Oh. It was made in collaboration with some of our fans and made to elaborate a little bit on what went wrong with the parents' relationship. That the mother was not simply evil, but rather that relationships are tough 
and neither of the parents handled it well. Okay. Yeah. I mean, it definitely gives a lot of clarification to the dad, at least. I, again, it, I, I didn't hear much of the conversation that was going on, but they could have done it a little better. But that's okay. Dude, what is this mug? Oh, I thought it was a big old fat cat. Never mind. <laughs> Wasn't sure what was going on. Oh, you're home. Oh, yeah. What? But, okay. The Thanks. team wanted to start with introducing the character of the mother, as well as the mechanics of the game. Starting with the kid's birthday was a way to both introduce Teddy in the form of a gift and showing how old the kid is. I mean, it makes sense. I mean, I, I, I like when how they introduced falls it. falls over the home is when you really start seeing the ways in which the child perceives reality while scared. A large part of the game is based on how children see and interpret what's happening around them. I mean, obviously children don't see it as like everything, like your house doesn't turn into a literal swamp, but there is trauma there, for sure. Absolutely. The playground. Yeah. There's Elaborate. There's something walking around here, but you never see it. The passive threat keeps you on your toes, and at the same time, creates the illusion that you might be safe for the rest of the game. <laughs> okay, Teddy. I've seen all of, I've seen every single Chucky movie. Like the Child's Play stuff? Absolutely. I even saw the, the remake, which is actually pretty good. This is the forested home. It's a crumbling home that's slowly rotting away into the water and trees. Right. Are you not going to tell me what it represents? The house here is a symbol of the family and home falling apart. The bloated creature inhabiting it is how the kid sees his mother when she's drinking and full of sorrow. Right. I don't know what you mean. The last time I remember my house suddenly forms into a little forest of nightmares. That's fair. That's true. For each world the player goes through, the environment illustrates more and more the jumbling together of memories. And this place is a direct illustration of that mess. Most prominently, it's framed by the memory the child has from trying to hide in closets or any nook it can find. What is that? The monster in this place represents the mother when she is angry. It comes out when the kid is making a mess. That it's really cool looking now that I can actually like see it. Without being without like chasing. Wait, what does this mean? They had some cool See, if Among the Sleep was to be made today, they probably would have like been able to give it a little bit more depth too. I mean, look at this thing, man. This is what I'm talking about. See those toes? Jesus. That is nutty. There's the mom. What is this supposed to be? What? This one's an old relic and story particularly how the game ended differently. Wait, what? Oh, there you have it. Me, or old me, as now I'm just a floaty version in your memory, of course. Also, here are all the characters in Among the Sleep, old and new. Yeah. Some are not used, and some are hard to see because of the various tricks and lighting we did to obfuscate them. Yeah, who's supposed to be a bad guy? That's crazy. Is this some glowing, I guess? Wait, that is really cool. I mean, this this would have nothing to do with the story. Like, this would make things, like, just real. You know, it's like, hey, there's literally a monster. <laughs> what is this? Oh, just, like, cut things from the game, maybe? There's the DLC stuff. Ah, my favorite place. I felt we really connected here, you know? A bit of a breather between the various bad, nightmarish worlds we went to. 
Also, I, I was able minute. to talk a lot here. As elsewhere, the developers were concerned about keeping the tension up and didn't want me to say too many things. Mm -hmm. Also, I kind of get quiet when scared, so it's okay and all. But I liked best the times we had to catch up. What do you mean, event? There's a secret ending through event? Through event? Like, here in the museum? Like, where? Here? Oh, it's gotta be here. No? Wait, what is this? Oh no, this just brings me back. Is there a reason to be here? Wait. No, that's where I came out. Oh, not there? Okay. But somewhere there's a vent. All right. So, uh, I will... Tell you what. I'll definitely search for that. Oh, I still have my plushies. I'll search for that, but let me just let me just explore the rest of the uh, museum. I have to almost be done with the rest of the museum anyways. So I don't know if we like necessarily missed the event, but maybe it's uh, towards the end. In the wall lies a secret metallic grate. Okay, no, I gotcha. There's a vent in the wall to look out for. If I don't see it by the end of this, I will look for it. Favorite horror movie? Oh, man. I don't know. I, I have to I love horror movies in general, but a lot of the ones I've seen are just really bad, but even they're super fun. Alright, explain, Teddy. This is the reveal. Mm -hmm. This is where you see your mother for what she is, and the player gets to connect the various monsters and sights through the game. And it's what made the game the game. It's why people remember this game in the first place from ten years ago. It absolutely makes the game what it is. Home to the world that bit the dust. No. Oh. Like cut content? Originally, the chase for the mom was a MacGuffin. A what? You did not really find her, and the monsters used her to lure you further into the dreamlands. And we struggled for some time to make sense of this story, especially the playtesters oh. were confused as the story ended without you seeing your mom again. Oh. Th that makes sense. I mean, they definitely should have changed the ending. Or they, they did change the ending, which was a good idea. Is this where I'm supposed to go? Yeah, I mean, looks like it. How old is this game? This game came out, I'm pretty sure it was 2014. Oh, no, this brings me back here? No, no, no. I went the wrong way. You should do more of these kind of stream where I just go through the whole game. Yeah, no, I plan to. That's why I'm doing this today. Um, I mean, I probably won't make this into a video or anything, but um, no, I just I just felt like I was playing a, play, felt like playing a fun game. Kind of a throwback. That and um, I, I did have some ideas of what I wanted to do today. What does all the steam-powered, copper-filled, steampunky nonsense relate to, you ask? Well... Proceed to see an old ending of Among the Sleep? Oh, hell yeah. Now here is something truly special. Hell yeah! Wanna see what the game almost was at some point? This is an old version of the story's conclusion, and it's been something we have not shown anybody except a few testers in the early days. You might say here, I got to have more fun than in the original ending. <laughs> Come in and see. You're a bad guy! Yeah! Dude, wait. This is really cool. Yeah, so this is what we were talking about. It wasn't a vent, it was just this. So basically a monster like lured me away and now I'm in a cage. Fashioned by Teddy. This is cool. Hey, 
Hey, buddy. Oh, goodbye. Am I part of a stew? What is this? Come on, Teddy. What you got? I see you floating back there. Okay, I don't think there's any way for me to escape. I think I, I think I'm just here. Am I? Can I get out of here? Maybe. Would I rather have the OG or the new? I don't know. Let me see this first. Hey, Teddy. Hello. <laughs> this is cool! <laughs> Much better. Oh, hi, Sophie. Sophie Cat, do you want to watch the secret ending? Secret ending? Oh, you got the arm back. Nice. Oh, yes. Extraordinary. Mm-hmm. This is a fresh two-year-old for you. I see. So you'd be collecting all of these things, but it's all ingredients for his I stew. Oh, lovely. It's so funny. And now for the main ingredient. What, what could that possibly be? Thank you. You did very well. I will enjoy you very much. Right. <laughs> okay. Huh. Was it always called Among the Sleep? Because if it was always called Among the Sleep, but they plan on having that ending. Yeah, it's very morbid, but it's also pretty cool. I don't think, so like, it's hard for me to say whether I like that. E I love that ending in general. Because I love things that are very supernatural-like. But I don't know if... I would have to see how the game would have played out either way, right? So, like, if the game played out um, with the alternate ending, here, let me see. Among the Sleep Reason for Title. Because I'm curious. I don't know. Like, every, everyone just kind of, like, just says... Everyone just takes Among the Sleep at face value, which is... I mean, I don't care. I mean, it's cool and all. But... 
if they always planned on the game to be called Among the Sleep, and they originally had this ending, like, you couldn't make an argument to say, hey, Among the Sleep is a title for something to do with the mom and the relationship and alcoholism. alcoholism. I don't know. Um, I mean... I think I think if they had this ending, the game originally was going to be extremely, extremely, extremely different. If it had to have been extremely different, I mean, I think the game as it stands is a fine game. You know, I th even though I like this old ending better, I don't know how well it would have worked as a whole for this game. I don't think that this game would have had the longevity that it did if it wasn't for changing away from Teddy being a bad guy and paranormal stuff to actually making it about childhood trauma and the strained relationship between parents and how that has, neg in, in this particular case, negatively affected the child so that it's causing trauma and the mother is, is doing not so good things. Right, Sophie? Hi, big pets. Big pets. You want me to see if I can try to get Sophie? Come here, Sophie. You're soft. Yeah, I know, I hear you. Are you hungry for food? Let me see if I can get her. See her? Come here. Come here. That's tough because she's really quick to leave because she knows she's adorable. She wants me to go and feed her. Sorry, Sophie. I'll feed you in a sec. She's quick. She's quick. <laughs> All right, cool. Yeah. I mean, the game always had an extremely dark present, like a uh, uh, premise for sure. It's good stuff. It's very good stuff. Good game. I mean, overall, good game. I, you know. All in all, it's like pretty classic stuff, you know what I mean? That's not too loud, is it? Cool. Oh, well, that's it. That's all I had planned. I mean, I was just going to uh, play through that and have some fun. I'm glad I played through that. Like, that's the first time that I ever actually played through it, you know? It's about where the stream ends. Yeah, I just wanted to just give it a moment. Chat with you guys for just a sec. Uh, know what I have planned for the next stream? Kind of. So originally what I was going to do today was playing a bunch of um, mascot horror games that had that seemed to have a little umph to them that might be like an hour long or like at least 30 minutes long. Like there's definitely effort that's gone into them, but they still look like they fall flat. And so I was going to play a whole bunch of those. So things like uh, there's a game called Toytopia that I thought was releasing today, but it releases tomorrow. Plus, I know there's that game called Muzzy floating around that's like 30 minutes long. It's stuff that I didn't want to dedicate a whole video to, but I wanted to like just sit and like play through and like laugh at these games a little bit with uh, um, uh, uh, with just people in chat. Or, hey, maybe they're good. I don't know. But I just wanted to explore them without making a whole dedicated video about them. But also, I do see a lot of itch.io horror games that I want to play, but I want there to be like a few more out there uh, before I actually sit down and like do a full live stream, like like the whole like random horror series that I've been doing. So I felt like, eh, it, it'd be a good time. I still wanted to live stream today, so it was a fine time to just do Among the Sleep. It was easy. What's the poster to my left? My left? Or do you mean over there on the left? If you're talking about that one, that is uh, Twitch Plays Pokemon. It's a print. 
that has like bird jesus it has uh, zapdos under it so it has like the main characters like in the middle it has the uh like the betrayers like flareon and kabuto at the bottom basically if you know twitch plays pokemon i don't want to get too deep but basically it's a twitch plays pokemon um uh print i was a i was a senior in college when that was happening and i would just i, I remember being in like the sub basement of the psychology department working on like like prepping a psych experiment um, and like just doing data analysis and uh, creating, it was data analysis, yes, but I was also like created, I, I was working on, I, I don't even remember what it was. Um, oh my God, what was it? Not analysis, but I was like setting up an experiment, but it had a lot of like coding in this particular program that I had to do. That was just hard for me. So I'd spend like hours, like really, really late at night, but I always had Twitch plays Pokemon on in the background. <laughs> so I would always like be participating a little bit or at least seeing where the character was going. So I was definitely a participant and this is back before I was a YouTuber, right? It was cool stuff. There's a game that's really, really good. It's called Dino Dump. Is it a horror game or is it? It's about dinosaurs pooping. The plushies on the top shelf. Uh, above me right here, that's a bunch of FNAF plushies. I do want to replace those with something. I just don't know what yet. On April Fool's, I should have a chair, game chair plays Pokemon. I'll have something. Maybe I'll have something. I don't know. I say I'll have something, but... I, I mean, I love April Fool's, but um, I feel like if I'm going to do an April Fool's joke this year, if I do one, um, I really need to have it have substance so i don't know the poster to my left do you mean this that's not it's because that's not a poster that's um that's a whole bunch of pokemon cards am i able to use that keyblade in your room yeah yeah it's just hung up by a um a, a, a nail i just lift it up and it's good to go i have watched paranormal activity paranormal activity is, unfortunately is only good for one watch and if you're gonna watch paranormal activity you're best to watch the first three without ever spoiling yourself and then just don't watch the rest. The rest are trash. They really are. Four has some decent moments, but outside of that, the rest of it is terrible. Maybe I can work with Makeship again for April Fool's. That Working with Makeship actually takes a good amount of time, and I don't want to work with them. I want to work with them again, but I don't want to work with them yet. I want to be a little bigger as a YouTuber. Um, before I, before I jump on something again, I have an idea for another one, but I want it to be like a big milestone. Like I would love to have like, yeah, maybe like a golden salmon plushie. So like similar to that one, but it's like golden with like some silver in it. You know, I think that'd be cool, but that would be cool for like a million subscriber, uh, plushie, right? It'd be cool. Have I seen, dude, Grave Encounters is actually pretty fun. Yeah, no, I have a Jumbo Josh and a, uh, um, and the Opila bird. I, I I will say I did order the uh, catnap plush. I couldn't help it. So I do uh, I do have a catnap plush coming my way. And so I might put that somewhere. I might replace all the FNAF stuff and just put catnap up there. Or just re maybe replace Opila bird and put catnap up there uh, with uh, Jumbo Josh. I don't know. Where did I get the Andy's Apple Farm plush? From uh, M36 Games. Um, they sold them on their website or, or like a website that sold Andy's Apple Farm stuff. And so I jumped on it. Why not? I think you need your own plushie. I do. Well, I did. Uh, I have two makeshift plushies that I had come out like a year and a half, two years ago. And I would love to do it again. But again, I, I want to be a little bit bigger before I have like another plushie that, that goes out or something. Have you ever played Yandere Simulator? I never have, and at this point, I, I'm never gonna touch that game. I really am not. Uh, if you don't know about the dev, um, you can do your own research, but I mean, uh, there was some horrible, horrible stuff that came out very recently. And he actually had an apology video, like at the very beginning of this year. My God, it's one of the worst apologies I have seen. I think he took it down too, but there's plenty of uploads. It's not great. Where do you get the shiny charm? Oh, I got that. Um, I don't know if he still sells them, but a drive, uh, basically like the dude you go to for shiny hunting content. He is the one that had those 
and I actually have two. I got the jump. I think that one's the jumbo, and then I have like a smaller one that I have in another room. But I thought it was cool, so I just kept it in this room as just hanging up. That and I just love shiny hunting, so I feel I felt it was appropriate, you know. I, I've never seen Amazing World of Gumball. I've seen like episodes, but I've never like sat down and like watched it. What game have I not played in a long time? Tons. I mean, I can think of a, a lot of PlayStation 2 games that I would love to make a return in some way. And like series that I want to come back, but probably never will. Do y'all ever, have y'all ever heard of Dark Cloud? Dark Cloud 1 and 2 were great, and I really want them to make a Dark Cloud 3, but they never will. They never will. Is that a Venom versus Spider-Man statue? Yeah, that's the collector's edition thing for Spider-Man 2. I have another one coming that is the collector's edition for um, uh, uh, Final Fantasy Rebirth. Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. And it, it comes with like a Sephiroth statue, and that is cool. I mean, if it's if it's something like that I'm really, really interested in, I'll, I will absolutely get the collector's edition. Am I good at drawing? Nah. I wish I was. That's one of those things that's like, if I sat down and like learned how to draw and like was passionate about it, then sure, I'd get better. It's like practice makes perfect. Perfect. But I, I'm, I'm not um, naturally gifted. Yeah, thanks. I, for, uh, you like how I decorated my room? I do want to get like something right there for those to like, for like the venom to go on top of. But right now it's just there in the background just for the heck of it. But yeah. Guys, I think I'm gonna call it. Uh, it's good stuff. Have I ever played Crash Bandicoot? Yeah, I played all of them. I, I, I mean, I've beaten Crash 4 as well, but I, that, that platinum is hell. I don't know if I'll, I'll ever go back to the platinum, but whatever. <laughs> a foot tall salmon plushie. That'd be cool. What's the key on the wall behind you? That is a keyblade. Look it up. It's Kingdom Hearts. All right. That's going to be it for me. Guys, I appreciate you hanging out. Thanks for watching uh, some very insightful Among the Sleep gameplay. You know, just a good old 10-year-old game. Um, next week, when I go live, or I, I still expect to go live next week, I'm probably going to do some random mascot horror type stuff we'll see yo shayla thank you so much for the 50 mods that's crazy thank you so much appreciate it see you later all right guys thank you so much go out there and make someone's day be happy stay happy i'll see you guys later goodbye get out of my house